What else do you have, toddler? Uh, one other thought. Aaron Rodgers voluntarily taking a big pay cut from the Jets is heroic and generous. Not a big deal. He's got plenty of money already. Whatever. Just get the vaccine. What does that got to do with anything? <laughs> Why well, we got to get all political? What are you that doing? That has nothing to do with anything. That's stupid. What are you doing? That's got nothing to do with it. It doesn't. Heroic and generous or not a big deal. He's got plenty of money already. Yeah, you came in and you're like, oh, he's going to get paid. It's not a big deal. I, I said, no, he's that. giving. I, until Florio tells me otherwise, this is basically they're saying, here's a new contract. I'm signing a new contract. I'm giving you $35 million back. Now, he's not truly giving 35 back. He just won't get paid that 35 because they haven't paid him $110 million. But still, he's given that money back. He's generous. Now, is that a tax write-off? Hmm. No, I don't think so, because it's a new contract. It's not like he gave it to someone. He'd have to try to sell that one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is it a charitable I, Yeah, donation? is it a charity? <laughs> These are the Jets. The Jets, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, that's a charitable deduction, Fair I would point. think. Yeah. Yes, Todd? Do the Jets have to report it if all said and done, however many years he plays with the Jets, and give him the balance of that money he generously gave back? Can they just write him a check for that $35 million or whatever, and no one needs to know when he's out the door? Oh. Why is it always something nefarious with you? I'm just curious. Well, is that something that has to be reported to the league? Yeah. Or they're like, you know, you're doing this for us, and at the end, we'll make sure you get that. Well, money there's going to be bookkeep. You know, there, there's going to be a paper trail to this. I, I don't know if you can say, hey, as a parting gift, I, instead of giving you a rocker or retiring your jersey, we're going to give you $35 million. Do we believe at face value he's just saying, you know, keep the 35? What player does do that? You, do you not believe? I don't. Yeah. I believe that he's going to get most, if not all, of that somehow back. On the uh, on the back end, and he's just helping them. With, I think uh, he's. I think he's giving that back. I I don't I don't know if it's back end, wink wink type thing. What does he owe the Jets, who he has no relationship with, until he recently wants to, to give win. them thirty five million? He wants to. <laughs> Everybody wins. He'll do that now, and they'll get the players maybe that they want that could put do him over the top. Do you come in with a black cloud over your head? I just like find you're it, you're so negative. It's extremely hard to believe that any player especially someone of his stature is going to say, yeah, the team that I have no previous relationship with, you know, I owe it to them. It's not Tom Brady with the Patriots or something like that. $35 million, he's going to hand them back at this new team that he's with? Who knows how yes, it's going to Paul. go? I, I guess, Fritzy, what I'm asking, yeah, I don't think that the, they could promise him money. There's no way they could just write him a check in two years. That would be circumventing the salary cap, and that'd be a, a huge violation. If you're saying that there's a promise of a third year, like a, a one-year contract down the road, like Seton referenced that, Hey, if all goes well, we're going to give you 60 for one year down the road as a promissory. That still doesn't take away that this was a fully guaranteed contract. Rodgers could have just sat there and taken $110 million. I, I think, Fritzy, I was wondering, do you dislike Aaron Rodgers so much that you don't believe the story? I don't dislike Aaron Rodgers. Really? I, I don't. I don't like the the way he handled the whole I'm um, immuno, immunized thing. But that being said, I just I don't know how all the numbers work. I'll leave that to lawyers and people that. Uh, general if this managers. was a quarterback that you liked, yeah, would you have a different opinion of? I would still be very curious and find it hard to believe whether if it's, Russell Wilson did this. It, yeah, especially as soon with as the way he got to Denver. Went. No, no, no. As soon as he got to Denver, if he said, "Hey." I'm going to give back $35 million because I, I want you to go out and be able to get some free agents. I would initially probably say, hey, wow, that's very <laughs> cool of you to do that. But then uh, upon further review, oh, I would no like way. to think that I would say, come on, no. you're not getting that money back somehow down the road? Dan, you remember, I, I think it's fair to say, Michael Jordan did this in the second half of his career. After Michael Jordan won his first title and was the greatest athlete on earth, he made $4 million a year. He only bumped up to $30 million a year his last two years in Chicago. And because of the Larry Bird rule, that $30 million did not count against the salary cap. He was, there was a point in his career where he was the you know, second or third highest paid player on the Bulls and never the highest paid player in the NBA. And that was, and you've said this before because you covered it, Michael did that. So, hey, a couple bucks here and there to keep a guy or add a guy. All I know is if, if Jordan didn't do that and he ended up with four titles, not six, he wouldn't be viewed as the greatest player of all time. He's got six, and nobody can argue. He's six and zero, oh, and he was making money from Nike. Therefore, you know I can still get a really good roster. We can afford players, and they did it. And and they also took Michael out of the equation because Michael famously wanted to be involved in this, and he wasn't, as we know, uh, a good coach or GM. But when you win. 
Like that, that adds a monetary value to your legacy, to your brand, to endorsements. Like that guy right there, he's a winner. And, you know, Michael to have six titles, whatever he gave up, he got it back tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold. Yes, Marvin. Does Jerry Grouse does Jerry does Jerry Krause get the respect as a great GM? No. Because mm-hmm. in the Jordan rules, Michael Jordan was, you know, mentioning or suggesting players yeah. and looking back on it, like, ugh, that wasn't that wouldn't have been good. Michael has no business criticizing what players they brought in to Chicago. None. He wanted Walter Davis when Walter Davis was broken down, but he was a North Carolina Tar Heel. And he's like, yeah, we want Walter Davis. Like, no, you don't. You no. Know? Yes, Doug. I do respect that it's the ultimate betting on yourself. When you're talking about that kind of money, whether it's Jordan or Aaron Rodgers, because there's no guarantee four titles, six titles, or what's going to turn out with the Jets over the next couple of years. So he could be giving – that's there's nothing in the writing like, I'm going to give you $35 million, but you make sure you get the players and we make sure we're going to win a Super Bowl or anything like that. He's giving $35 million up for the prospect of maybe the Jets having a very successful season in a year or two. You just you, – you can't believe that something could – like at face value, you can't – Believe it, right? It's $35 million. I think we're underestimating that amount of money to just say, yeah, you keep it. We'll uh, yes, give me a couple of players. I do. I kind of agree with Todd that we, we do tend to underestimate just how much money, uh, like even with the Saquon Barkley thing, it's like you did all that for $900,000. Like $900,000 is would be like a life-changing sum of money for me right now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's that $35 million is nothing to seize at. That's a, that's a huge chunk of money. That being said, he has already made $305 million. So... You know, him giving back that thirty-five isn't really the same as, say, me giving up thirty-five yeah, but million dollars. How many? I think that the I think that he's okay giving up that thirty-five million dollars because, right? I think that right now winning is more important to him than that thirty-five million dollars. Another Super Bowl ring means way more and is worth way more to him than thirty-five million dollars. But we're not treating this, at least what I'm hearing from Todd, that this is something that's really great. That he's uh, admirable, maybe the word. I just question yes, he whether does he's have not going to get that money back. Yeah, he has all this money. Okay. He's still giving back $35 million to try to better the team. It, isn't that admirable? I, I think yeah, so. I just don't accept that uh, on face value that that's all, all that's happening. We don't know anything behind closed doors of how the money's being made. You've said it all the time. What wealthy person in the world ever says, I'm good, that's, I don't need another dollar, I'm, I'm happy with what But I he got. might be investing that $35 million to make even more money by winning a Super Bowl. And that Bowl. much I respect because there's no now, guarantee that this is going to go well with the Jets. No, of course and it's giving not. giving up $35 million for the possibility of being the big Joe Namath hero. What, in are, what, are, what are we arguing now? We're arguing that $35 million is a lot of money, and I just I don't accept that the, he's just giving the Jets 30, okay. a $35 Todd, million dollar discount. Okay. Todd is that. essentially saying that somewhere throughout this process there's going to be a briefcase yeah. Sneakily given to Aaron Rodgers, <laughs> containing thirty-five million dollars. Exactly. Okay. That's what. That's okay. what Todd. All right. Is I just positing. wanted to understand because after a while, I forget what we. Maybe not arguing. one lump sum, but they'll get it to him. Uh, all right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Marv. The Brooklyn buzzkill strikes again. Wow. Man. The Brooklyn buzzkill. Yeah. I, I do understand what Todd's saying, though. If, if there is some type of agreement that well, there's another year option, and we're all going to do it. No, that, but there's no contract where the Jets have to do it. This is very clear. He the, doesn't have to do this, and, and the Jets don't have. The Jets can. Yeah, look, maybe I'm I'm trying to see the positive too. I think it's admirable. Uh, not at, how many guys have done this? How many guys do this? You could see, like when Brady joined the Tampa, when Brady joined Tampa Bay, he was making twenty. But he got all of his money. Brady he did. got. He didn't give back. No, but it was all con- deferred. Brady's contract when he joined Tampa was two years, $50 million. He was not a top five paid quarterback. It was lightly team friendly and it made them, they, they were able to sign Gronk, little things like that. So Brady did it to a certain level. He did not take a pay cut after signing a contract though. Yeah. 35 million. I don't know. I thought it was kind of, a, <laughs> it, it feels like if you don't like Aaron Rodgers, then it doesn't matter what he does. We're going to find a loophole there where we go. Yeah, but I'm going to, Take it at face value. I find it admirable. Yes, Marvin. But also, let's relax. He's not going to the soup kitchen. Oh, yeah, I, I got it. We know that. Well, there there does tend to be a little bit of a lack of, mm, like when you can afford to give back $35 million yeah. just out of a vanity play. Yeah. 
Yeah, it takes a little bit of the uh, hero worship out of it. <laughs> Got to admit, you know. Well, it's like The Rock. I think he donated a million dollars to the writer's strike. And I don't know if people went, oh, he's got a ton of money. That's not a bit. Only a million dollars? Or you go, is anybody else doing that? I found it extremely admirable that he was willing to do that to help these writers. Yeah. Yes, Todd. Can Aaron Rodgers say if you're going to really worry about how everyone thinks of you and how wonderful you are doing oh this, my God. can you take a portion of that $35 million and put it to the following charities? Why don't... Why since, do, since I'm not getting it. Oh, my God. It just goes back to the Jets. They, they need every dollar of that $35 Todd, million to find the best can't players. Go to, what is wrong with you today? They need all $35 million to find the perfect lineup to get uh, the This Super Bowl isn't title. about giving it to charity. You give it back to the team to invest in players. There's a salary cap here. And use most of that $35 million to find those guys that are going to get you to the Super Bowl. And a portion of that goes to uh, charitable causes in the uh, tri-state area. <laughs> That's what I think. Then you're really, wow, not only is he giving back $35 million, he specifically told the Jets, this portion I'd like to go to charity. And then you're my hero. The Boys and Girls Club of Greenwich. Yeah. 